So greetings from here in Pennsylvania once again, and we have made it to Ravensburg State Park here on my little uh, two-day road trip camping trip. I'll show you the map where we are in a moment, but yeah, here's my campsite. Kind of a different type of setup here. Most uh, campgrounds on state parks, you have to reserve a site. This site, you just this place, you just kind of drive in and uh, pick where you want to camp. It's kind of like a first come, first serve basis for camping. Kind of interesting. All right, let me show you around. Kind of like it. Only one downside is there's, there's a highway up there. So here's some highway noise, but there's also a stream right next to the campground here. Yeah, so here is the camping area. My favorite type here in the woods. You got, you know, plenty of shade and pine trees and stuff. It's not like out in the open, but they got, you know, picnic tables, like a tent pad site. You could probably hear the stream just over there. Here's a site I chose. Naomi likes it too. This is number uh, 19. Yeah, you have the, you got your picnic table, your fire ring, and a nice place to set up your tent up there. Let's go check out this stream though. There's a trail right here too. I think it's called the Raven Trail. We might hike that in a bit. I get some lunch going here. But yeah. I'm gonna fall asleep to this noise today. Tonight. Wow. Yeah, the highway is just right over there. The this will help to cancel that out. And I absolutely love falling asleep to the sound of water. Where I grew up on the farm, or even as an adult when I lived there, off the top of the farm, but I could hear the stream down below from my bedroom window. It was awesome. Yeah, there's no one else here right now, because I'm here a bit early. It's a Monday night too, so I'm not expecting a lot of company. And it's still May. Today's May 20... Oh, bird just flew right by. <laughs> Sorry, jump. Today's May 23rd, so... Not really vacation season for most people yet, so we might have a, might have a quiet night again, which I'm not gonna complain about. All right, before I set anything up tent-wise or anything, I, I'm hungry. I haven't had lunch yet, it's past 1.30, so we're gonna have some uh, instant mashed potatoes, loaded baked potato. So we're gonna get that going. I do have some mail to share in this video. At some point this afternoon, we'll share some of that. And we are gonna do a little bit of exploring later. There's a place down here called Castle Rock, I think. I gotta check the map again. I'll oh yeah, I forgot to sh I'll show you the map here remote where we are. But I, I'm gonna place a channel sticker and I'm gonna give do a flashlight giveaway at this spot too. But we'll talk more about that later once we get ready to do that. But let's uh let's get lunch going. But just quickly here, here is our Pennsylvania State map. Of course, earlier today we were at well we did a couple of covered bridges over here. We went to Sand Bridge to McCall's Dam. Now we're up here in Clinton County here at Ravensburg State Park. Actually, I'm going to pour this into a larger bowl. I'm going to need more than that for my mashed potatoes. Water is done boiling. We'll put this pot in this one so it doesn't melt the uh, my table, my uh, oh, I forget what it's called, <laughs> table cover. And then we'll pour in our mashed potatoes. They're instant, so we just dump them in there. Give it a good stir. Super easy to make and yummy.
looks liquidy, but it's solid. It uh, solidifies up nicely. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, so these are our quick, easy, filling, cheap, tasty camping meal to make. Yep. Actually, I haven't had these for a while. Yes, occasionally a big truck drives by. Traffic noise is just a little bit more annoying than I'd like, but we'll deal with it. I guess we get a, a beautiful stream. All right, so lunch is consumed. I feel a lot better now. I'll show you this in a little bit. This is the flashlight I'm gonna give away. It's a spot. Talk more about that. We got, I gotta pick a channel sticker to place out here too. So we do some mail to go over, but I think I'm gonna get, get my tent set up a while, get that all done. I'll only show you what not to do when you camp. Don't leave trash behind in your fire pit. Well, this one's not so bad. Let me show you the other one. Yeah, this campsite across the way was even worse. I actually was gonna choose this one. I think this was the one. Yeah, I leave a whole, whole bag of trash in there for the other people to deal with. You know what? Take it home with you. Either burn it or take it home with you. Don't leave it for other campers to have to deal with. That's just, that's just wrong. Don't be a slob. Even if signs out there, you pack it, you packed it in, pack it out. I mean, it's just, it's your own trash. Just, just take it with you. It's kind of annoying. They gotta leave it behind for someone else. No, someone else has to take care of that, burn it or whatever. I might, if I don't have any neighbors tonight, I might just, I'm gonna have a campfire today. I might just burn it in there. We'll see. That's what, little things like that can annoy me sometimes. All right, so here's a map of the park. We're camped all the way up here in the campground. We're gonna go ahead and hike down the trail here. It's called Raven Trail, down to a place here called Castle Rocks. Looks like an interesting spot. Um, where is, yeah, the geologic formations. Um, the most outstanding geological feature in the park is Castle Rocks. Tall, uh, erosional spire. I signed off my reading glasses on. Tall erosional spires of sandstone are silhouetted against the sky. We're gonna check those out. Of course, the park is named after the ravens that used to roost at the area there. So Ravensburg, basically like City of the Ravens. So I think we're gonna hike down there and check that out. Let me check what time it is here, quick. All right, it's about 2:30. Like so, we're gonna leave a channel sticker there. Got channel sticker number 62. Ravensburg, and then we're gonna leave a flashlight out there. Um, this is from Through Night. They gave me two of these recently again, but I did a I did a review on these last summer on one of my camping trips. I think I'll post that video, a link to that video down below if you want to check it out. But it's a cool little light, little survival light. It's more like a, it's great for using like in your tent. It comes with the bottom is magnetic, and you can there's a little magnetic hook that you can stick on the end of this and hang it from your. Uh, from your inside your tent. Let's see if I just take it out here. Hold on a second. Let me take it out. Yeah, this little hook here is magnetic, so it hooks on right to the bottom of your your flashlight or the little survival light. So you can hang this from the your tent, like a little hook in your tent. And if you want to take the light off, you just do it with one hand. You can just take it right off. Leave the hook up there. Just take your light off, and of course it'll hook back on again. So it's kind of neat, different ways. It's different settings, different levels of brightness. So I'm gonna place that out here at Castle Rocks. All right, so let's get going and let's go check out uh, Castle Rocks. Kind of looking forward to checking this out. And of course, then when we get back, I'm not sure how long we'll spend up there, but no rush. We'll do the regular camp and stuff. We'll get a campfire going. I, I have plenty of firewood and uh, yeah, I'll do some work on my computer. Actually, I'll go work on my one journal too, my County High Points journal. I'll show that to you. Got to fill in the. The last two counties we did, High Points, Beaver County and Indiana County. We'll let Naomi chill out there for a bit and then we'll uh, head on down to Raven Trail, which is right next to my campsite. Right by that beautiful rushing stream. Hopefully we can actually get up to the rocks. Oh, getting scolded. 
think it's a kingfisher. <laughs> Hopefully we can get up to the rocks. I'm assuming there's gonna be some kind of trail headed up there. Of course, assuming is not always the best thing to do. Well, looks like we're gonna come right up to the creek here. Oh, we got a bridge. Man, it's beautiful. Wow. Check that out. Yeah, that is just, that's beautiful out there. All right, big castle rocks is calling. We got some wildflowers here. I believe these are called a uh, Dame's rocket. It's one of the names from. I just have to stop and show this to you too. Look at this. Wow. All right. We gotta keep going now. So I think we're pretty close. There's like a boulder field up there. I'm not sure if that's where Castle Rocks is, but we're gonna follow this trail down yet. I'm not sure how visible they are from down here. Okay, so I'm seeing some rocks up off to my left here. Not sure if these, that's where Castle Rocks is located. I don't see any spires of rock. Baby, we're only at the other, I guess it would be the south end of the park. Down there is where the, the dams are. I showed you a little bit of that. So that's where we are. Here's where Route 880 crosses a stream. There's some parking up there. So I gotta find out where these rocks are. All right, so taking another look up there, I think I see, I think I see stuff up there. Spires of rocks. So that's where we're gonna head. I just gotta find a, a trail that goes up there. Let's see what's up here. And we're right next to the road right here. I'm assuming there's gonna be some kind of trail that goes up there. I think, I, th I think they're right up there. Okay, so I'm not seeing any distinctive trail that goes up there. So maybe we'll just make our own trail. I mean, maybe there is, maybe I missed one further down that way, but at this point we're just gonna start making our own trail headed up there. Well, so once again, I believe that's where we have to go is up there, but we're right at the southern edge of the park here. There's actually one little lone pavilion all the way down here by itself. All right, let's head up there. Keep our eyes open for critters. Okay, so we weren't just down there on that trail, but I came up just a little ways and boom, look, there is a trail right here. So this probably takes you back to that one parking area, I'll assume. So, it's like I said, we're heading up that way, but there's a nice trail going this way too, so. All right. That makes it a little bit easier, so I'm assuming this will take us where we need to go. It's convenient.
Yeah, I think you can see them up there now. There's some jutting up right there, but there's a whole like shelf of rocks up there. Looks cool. I don't know where this trail's gonna take us. Let's see what it does. <laughs> Looks like it just takes you down here to the road, but it looks like, okay, it looks like it kind of goes up here too. Okay, it's starting to go up now. I see it kind of curving up that way, good. Wow, I can see why it's called Castle Rocks. It looks like a castle up here. We're just gonna keep heading up that way. This is pretty cool. Not the easiest climb, but. All right, so this is the trail we followed up. It's kind of steep in this section. And it brings you up to Castle Rocks. So somewhere right in this area, I'm gonna find a place to stash the sticker. Might go exploring a little bit more, but I wanna stick the sticker uh, in the flashlight somewhere here in this area. Okay, so we have found a spot. Once again, there's the trail coming up. Now right here, there's two big rocks that you'll find just below where the rock, castle rocks are. So right here, in fact this tree right here has like a paint smudge mark on it. But right down here in the, in the cleft of these two rocks, we're gonna place channel sticker 62 and the flashlight. So I'm gonna stick some debris on top of them. And then this stone is actually, I was actually right here, so I'm gonna put it back on top of it. So that's right where they are right at the base of Castle Rocks there. And I'm gonna trip here. <laughs> and kind of at the top of the trail, right where this tree is with the black smudge mark. Boom. And as always, you know what's coming next. Please, if you do it, the one that finds it, let me know and send me a picture. That way I can share the picture in a future video and just lets me know that indeed it has been found and I can let other people know. Been a little trouble with that recently of uh, people actually sending me a picture. I know, some people may not like to, but it's just, it's kind of, it's kind of what we're doing with this. <laughs> All right, so we might just take a little bit of time to go exploring. Just a little bit. All right, Castle Rocks, City of the Ravens. No ravens here today, though. The place is pretty awesome. Just gotta watch where you step. I haven't seen any snakes yet either. Little nooks and crannies. Anybody home? <laughs> So I'm just gonna hang out up here for a little bit, find a nice little rock to sit on. Kinda, kinda neat up here. But in a little bit, we'll get going again, get back down to camp, got some other stuff to do. All right. Definitely, if you come to Ravensburg State Park, definitely worth visiting. I mean, if you're not very nimble, you might wanna be a little bit careful about coming up here. One little trip and you're just gonna be on the road down there. Because the highway is literally right below the road, so. If you trip anywhere up here, you're gonna end up right down there. You land on the road, break a leg, and then get hit by a car. Yeah, speaking of car. You know, it's one thing to look at a map, you know, plan these trips, plan these hikes, these adventures, but it's something entirely different to actually be here then. So it's really cool. And I'm sure there's a lot more to these rocks that is actually farther up there. Might be some actual spires. I can't see them from here. I mean, they said you could see them from some different spots, but I don't know. We'll maybe we'll poke around a little bit more, or maybe we'll head back. We'll see. I'll decide in a little bit here. Yeah, I think right up behind me there's one of the spires that goes up. Mm, I don't know if I want to make my way up there or not. <laughs> kind of by myself, so we'll see. Yes, yeah, so there's looking back up where we were. I think you can see the one spire I was pointing up to when we were down below there, and then there's kind of another one up further. All right, but obviously I came back down. Looks like there might be a really big one up there. 
All right, but. All right, so I'm gonna follow this trail, see where it comes out at. Yeah, so personally, I feel like if I'm gonna climb around those rocks, I should have someone else with me. In case I do fall, break something, at least someone will know and can get help. I didn't have any cell service here, so I wouldn't really be able to call anybody. I don't wanna lay up there all night until someone realizes, you know, I'm at home or something. Just dumb to think about sometimes when you do stuff like this. Just be careful. Yeah, so this trail does bring you out to the the one road through the park here. And like there's, there's a parking area right here. Yeah. And our uh, Raven Trail starts all the way down there by the dam. That's where the dam is down there. It goes back off that way. Of course, if you don't want to hike at all, you can just come to the park, drive in here, park here, and head up the trail there. You're just taking the camp road back to my shelter, and looky what we have. The mushrooms. Yeah, this is hemlock varnish cap. This is a dead hemlock tree here. They grow off of these. This part here is actually edible. They're pretty young yet. Later on, they get this like a, well, you can see it there like a, let me flip, whoops, like this shiny varnishy cover to them. It's more like wood, but these soft parts are actually edible. Hemlock varnish cap. And we're back at my campsite. Oh, look at these. Oh, I forget what these, are these foam? Is this foam flower, I believe? I believe it is. I'll have to check that when I get home too, but I believe this is called foam flower. I could be wrong, but a whole bunch of it growing here. Look at all of it. All over the place in there. Right next to my campsite. Through the trees there. And I have a visitor to my campsite. Giant millipedes, the American giant millipede. There's my finger. So they can get pretty big. They're harmless though. The only thing is they, they do smell. That's like their one defense, but. He's not really responding, but yeah. Otherwise harmless. So let's do a little bit of mail time while we're here. Might as well. This picnic table is weird. It's very, uh, it sits very low. I feel like a child sitting here. But yeah, got a little bit of mail to share. Someone else to do that now. This stuff is good too. Propel the peach flavor. All right, so let's. Uh, first, we have some stuff from Debbie. All right, so she sent me a whole box of these Nature's bakery I like the fig bars I think she sent me some of these before but not a whole box I only have two of them left that's all there is I do enjoy these I have a friend that works at a grocery store and they sell she gets me picks up boxes for me too they had the strawberry there too oh and in my bag I have like there's like fudge brownie ones too I found at the store but these are these are pretty good I do like those she also sent me some Jack Leek's Bacon jerky, hickory smoked. I have refrained from opening this. But I think we'll do that now. What better place to try this than at camp? Well, I know I'm gonna like it. I mean, it's bacon. <laughs> Look at that. Oh boy. Well, that's not gonna last the night. Might get that campfire going tonight. I'm gonna be eating that. Wow. Yeah, that stuff's, yeah, 100% real bacon. That stuff is amazing. <laughs> and she also sent me these, a little box of these. These are like car hooks. You can put these in your car, like hook them on the back seats and stuff and hang stuff from them. I haven't tried them yet. Those just came in the other day. There's the name brand. So that could probably be pretty helpful with, with camping stuff. Uh, if, I were to show you, if I were to show you the inside of my Jeep now, it's, it's kind of a mess in there. Just I try to stay organized for these camping trips. It can be difficult sometimes, so these, these might be pretty helpful for that. 
Thank you, Debbie, for all those gifts. There's a little thing with her name on it. Um, we just stuck a flashlight out there at Castle Rocks, but through my through night sent me another one. This is the the TH. Yes, the TN12 Pro. So we'll do a review on this one in a future video. Maybe we'll find like a, a cave or something we can test this out in. I'm not sure if I'll give this one away or not. They only sent me one of these. I'll just see how awesome it is and then I'll decide what to do with it. I do have quite a few through night flashes already if you haven't noticed. So I do enjoy giving them away too. I think I've, I still have two others I have to give away. Besides the one I gave away today. And then we have, I have a card from Richard. Thank you for the card, Richard. Thank you for the kind words. Thank you for the gift that was inside of it, too. Thank you for that. And one other gift I got from someone, I won't mention his name, he requested to be anonymous, but you know who you are, and thank you for the gift. And as always, thank you for the gifts. You know, thank you to all my viewers, uh, my Patreon supporters. That's what makes these trips possible in times like this. You know, it's traveling got a little bit more expensive. <laughs> these days but you know it is what it is it, it's not something that we can really change a whole lot we just, sometimes you just gotta do what you can do rough it through this time so thank you for the support in those ways it does make doing trips and videos like this possible thank you all right so i'm going to take a little bit of time to work on my high point journal because this is where i keep my the map the high point map not doing any high points today we are in clinton county but we're probably well let me show it up here's yeah, this table's a little low. We are in Clinton County, but we're all the way down here. The high point is all the way up here somewhere. We'll get to that later this summer, hopefully. There's a whole bunch of state parks up that way. We'll get there, I think, this summer. But yeah, I do keep a journal of all my high point hikes. I take pictures, I just write about the hike. Titles, there's Wyoming County. Do that for each one. Each one, because I, I just, you know, I printed the pinchers out last night, and I'll, I'll cut them out, and then I'll use double-sided tape to uh, tape them into the journal. And I just kind of write about my adventure doing that. Kind of a cool thing to do. So we'll put our next adventure here. I think this last one was Clearfield County that I actually put in here. Yeah, back October 1st, Clearfield County. So we're, we're going to add Beaver County and Indiana County to our journal. Great evening to do this. It's just it's just beautiful out here this, this late this afternoon. It's almost four o'clock. It's gonna be amazing. Temperature's sleeping. I'm gonna leave the the rain fly off the tent again. Leave it kind of exposed to the sky. Alright, but I'm gonna get to working on this for a little bit. Alright, and so there we go. We got Beaver County done, and then we got Indiana County High Point done. That was the one that had those ruins at the top. Well, there was like an old house site. We found that chimney, fireplace and chimney. That was an awesome hike. I was expecting to find it up there. Yeah, so I still don't have any neighbors. I saw a few cars kind of pull in a little bit, but then they left, so not sure, but... It's about four, it's about quarter till five, so I don't know, we'll see. It means people might show up yet, but like I said, it is a Monday evening, so as long as they're quiet, they can come camp here with me. <laughs> but anyway, traffic is picking up a little bit on the highway, but it's approaching five, so that's to be expected. Everybody's heading home, but I'm, I'm assuming that later tonight it'll quiet down. But it is what it is. So in a little bit, we'll get the fire going, but I got some other stuff we're gonna work on first. So just recently, I think in my latest Union Canal video, I talked about the possibility of doing a series on my, my family history, like my ancestors and stuff. And I, decided, I decided to go ahead and do that. 
In fact, I sent in, I got one of those uh, little those DNA kits where you spit in it and you send it in and they'll tell you where you're from. Your ancestors are and everything. And so I'm going to do that. But I'm going to make a video, an intro video to that separate from this video where I talk about that a little bit, what the plan is for that. So I think I'll film that video now. By then, it'll be a little bit later. We'll get the fire going. You know, do some reading around the fire and whatnot. We'll see. It's a beautiful, beautiful evening. It's cooling down already. Rolled the sleeves back down. So I love... I love sleeping in the tent on these cooler evenings. I got my sleeping bag and a, a heavier blanket like an afghan, we call it. It'll keep me warm. So, all right, I'll get that done and then I'll get back with you, maybe get the fire started. Get that lit down in there. That's one type of fire starter I use. The viewer sent me these, these little fire sticks too. This wood is perfect, nice and dry. Yeah, we've got a nice little flame going there. Like I said, this wood is just perfect, nice and dry. This will get going really nicely soon. Wow. Approaching 5.30, so good time to get this started. So time to get some brew going. I showed you this in a more recent video, my, my most recent camping video, kind of changed things up a little bit, where I had been drinking, but we're gonna get that going. I know someone's gonna ask, why don't you just use the fire to heat this up? You could, I did last time, but this, this little stove just does it so much quicker, a lot more convenient just to heat it up this way. Heats it up in like, you know, two minutes sometimes. You got like nice, nice hot, nice warm water to work with. Yeah, it's been maybe two minutes. It's already boiling. So we're gonna turn it off and get that, put it into our new little pour over contraption here. Get that going. And we use this in my most recent camping videos too. Works really well. A whole little pour over thing. Get brew coming out the bottom. Yeah, it's dark roast. This is the dandelion chicory root coffee substitute that I showed you in the past. Whoops, collapsed my little coffee filter thing there. Alright, give it back to you. Alright, time to add some creamer. I think I'll go drink a little bit down by the creek. Just a little bit, I gotta got get my computer out again and uh, well you know what we do with that. I gotta get, get the files off my camera and get things organized a little bit. Put a fresh battery in. So we'll go down by the creek a little bit first. Well, that smells good. I almost forgot, we gotta add a little bit of a, this mushroom powder to it too. Sacred Seven. Adds a little bit of chocolate flavor to it as well. Not a bad view for, uh, for brew time.
still going. We'll get up there in a bit, but as you know, I always spend time getting stuff off my computer from today's filming, get all the files off and stuff, my camera. And once again, this thing is amazing, the Jackery electrical generator, the power bank there, I guess you'd call it. Awesome. And we'll just keep working on our brew here. All right. Like I said, we'll get this done and then we'll uh, head up there and uh, maybe clean up our mess here a little bit. Kind of straggle out. Not sure if I'll do anything for supper or not. Might just have some more of those blueberry nature's bakery bars. We eat all those mashed potatoes for lunch, a late lunch. I'm not terribly hungry at the moment, but we'll see what happens. Maybe I'll, like I said, maybe I'll just munch on some of those. All right, so it's about 6.30 now. So it is sit by the fire time. I think I'll, got some books up there I'll pick out to read. It's quieted down a little bit. I think rush hour traffic is done, but uh, still sometimes a number of big trucks drive by, but you know, I'm, I'm kind of getting used to it, I guess. Great campsite though, just a little bit noisy at times. But I'm not complaining, <laughs> enjoying myself out here. Hopefully I can get this on camera for you. So check that out. Check out that beautiful bird. Hope the camera's focusing on it. It looks a little fuzzy. I'm zoomed in pretty far. That looks like an Oriole. Oops, there it's gone. Or some kind of tanager. Yeah, I was zoomed in pretty far, so it's kind of footage might have been a little bit grainy. If I had to get that on camera for you, there you go. Back to the fire. So it is about 7:30 now. The fire's still going back there. Got a little bit of firewood left by the fire, uh, by the fire. But there's some more in the jeep if I need it. If I want to stay out a little bit later, not sure how long I'll stay up. There's a chill in the air though. I think it's going to get cold tonight, but that's okay. I have warm enough stuff in the tent. I'm just going to go for a little walk, I think. And then we'll come back and sit by the fire again. Yeah, tomorrow, I've got some stuff planned for tomorrow. Uh, not too far from here, there's the Mount Logan natural area. Here within, this is a, well we're not, we'll be going down to Bald Eagle State Forest tomorrow. This is not Bald Eagle State Forest, this is another state forest. I'll put it down here, Tiagatin, I can't say it correctly. But there is a plane crash up on top of that mountain, an abandoned plane crash, I could talk, you could say. The plane is still up there. Just a small plane, I think like what they call Piper, Piper Cherokee. We'll see if we can find it. I do have GPS coordinates for it, so that should be fun. That should be a fun hike. <laughs> we'll see if we can find it. And then I think I'm gonna go to Bald Eagle State Park tomorrow too get in our state park in. Yeah, but still no neighbors. It's just beautifully quiet. The traffic has slowed down too. So get closer later in the evening. Figured that would happen. I was hoping that would happen too. But man, get the birds singing. It's just beautiful. So, wood thrush off in the distance there. There it goes again. It's one of my favorite bird songs. Yeah, a couple of uh, motorcycles came through about an hour ago. I thought they might stay, but they had they had like the packs on their motorcycles. They're obviously traveling. I almost wonder if they're gonna find a spot to stay, but I don't see them around anywhere. Oh, there's that wood thrush again. I take back my words. I do see them down in there. They have things set up down there. I see their motorcycles and some tents set up, so they did decide to stay. All right, cool. I mean, it's kind of nice of them to camp down at this end away from me. So they're like camping right next to me. That was respectful of them. 
I think they do have a bathroom up here too. There's no electricity here. All right. But you know, that was pretty cool of them to kind of respect my privacy back at this end. They could have, you know, camped right next to me if they wanted to. <laughs> they decided to camp. I'm in this loop and they camped in the loop all the way back there. That's what it's about, folks. It's about, you know, get to a place like this and there's all these open campsites. You don't have to park. You don't have to camp that, like, right next to someone else that's already here. Let them have their privacy. I just love the sound of that water. I camp right back here. Let's go for a little walk down the trail here. My favorite spot. I feel like moving my tent and campfire to this spot right here. Can't do that, of course, but this would be awesome. This is an absolutely beautiful spot. All right, so I just checked the weather. It is clouded over quite a bit. It's about 8.15 right now. Yeah, I have a service here, so I can uh, I can use my phone out here, not just for calling, but to check the internet and stuff. So about 15% chance of rain. So like I said, I left the rain tarp off the tent, like I did at Raccoon Creek State Park. So I think I'll just leave it off. If by that odd chance it does start to sprinkle a little bit, I have the uh, I have the rain tarp just right down here. I can quick throw it on, be okay. Yeah, it's gonna get down to the low 50s tonight, about 53 degrees, which would be a bit chilly. And you know what I forgot to bring along? I forgot to bring along you know, one of my hoodies along or any kind of jacket. I always forget something. But I do have this long sleeve shirt and I have some, I have some long sleeve t-shirts that I brought along. So I'll just kind of do some layering tomorrow morning, stay warm. It'll, it'll warm up in the 70s tomorrow, though, too, so it'll just be a little bit chilly in the morning. Yeah, it's kind of cool to have internet here. It's probably because of the highway. That way you can kind of check on some things and watch some YouTube videos, too, while you're sitting by the fire. That's not cheating, I don't think. You can, you can do that. <laughs> All right. I think I'll just gonna chill for a little while, maybe stay here till about 9 o'clock yet. I have some more wood I can put in the fire if I want to. All right. Maybe I'll watch some more uh, YouTube videos tonight. Yeah, I almost forgot while well, I got my fire going. Let's uh, let's go get that trash over to the other site. Get rid of it. Make sure it's all burnable stuff first, but... Yeah, it should all burn. Just so... Uh, I'm not sure what all it is, but we'll get rid of it. Regardless, whether, even, whether I burn it or just put it in my own trash bag. They have a pile of cigarettes down there too. Good job. Yeah, it should burn up here at our campfire quickly enough. Yeah, when you leave a campsite, you should leave it clean for the people that are kind of come on, come in after you. They shouldn't have to clean up after your garbage. Don't be a slob. Beautiful fire, though. <laughs> All right, got a little bit more fire. We might throw it on in a bit here. It's definitely cooling down. But it's nice and warm by the fire. And this is my 90th state park. 
of the 121 state parks in Pennsylvania. It was a short earlier today, I feel like I miscounted, but it, it, we are at number 90 now. Sand Bridge was 88, the Calls Dam was number 89, and here at Ravensburg is number 90. So that's where we're at. Beautiful evening out here for the fire. And we are down to just embers. A little bit after nine. A little bit of, well, I guess it's not showing up at all. There's a little bit of light in the sky yet. You can hear the sound of the creek off over here. Occasionally you can hear a car pass by, but it's getting pretty quiet now. So I'm gonna turn in in a bit here. I shall probably say good night to you now. I'll see you in the morning. Well, good morning to you all. It is just before six o'clock. I am awake, but I'm not I'm not up yet. It's gonna lay here yet. Just looked up for my mesh in the tent. It's cold outside there, but I'm gonna lay in here for a bit more, just listen to the birds sing and whatnot. Well, good morning to you then. About an hour later I finally got up. It, it's chilly this morning, but uh, I'll take this over it waking up and it's already like, you know, 75 degrees. Like what will happen later this summer. But anyway, I'm gonna get all torn get all torn down, packed up, and uh, we'll we'll uh, see if I can think about what I'm just gonna say. We'll uh, uh, look into getting some breakfast ready then before heading out today. Some more adventures. <laughs> all right, so up there is that bird I saw last night. Oh, it flew off. Where are you? There it is. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, where'd you go? Well, we'll wait, try to see if that bird comes back. I believe it's a scarlet tanager. We'll see. I'm gonna get some oatmeal ready here. Got the water warming up. So breakfast is done. We got everything packed up. No trash to the fire pit or anywhere else. That's the way we should leave it. Yeah, beautiful little spot. A little bit noisy with the traffic up there at times. Here comes another big truck. But uh, yeah. But not a bad place to camp. That's the way it is sometimes with these campsites. You know, several weeks ago we were at Raccoon Creek State Park. We had the airplanes flying overhead. Now we got a highway. But uh, still a beautiful spot though. All right, but we're gonna get going. Got plans for the day. I think I talked about that yesterday. Kind of excited for the next thing we're doing to go and try and find that, that plane crash up the top of the mountain. So hopefully I'll see you there. So it's always thanks for coming along and see you in the next one.